Hi, this is Michael Bruin, and this is my fourth impromptu speech for Dr. John Edgar's class at NTC for public speaking. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how my grandpa, my grandfather, my dad's father, used to get to school. He died when I was 14 years old, so 11 years ago, and he was 84 years old. This is a replica that my grandpa has built of what his school bus looked like. This is a covered wagon and he made it to scale version of exactly what his transportation, I don't want to call it a bus, looked like to get to school. Now if you look inside of here there is you know benches along the walls and then there's a front and back door. He told me that there was actually a wood stove inside the covered wagon that they would stoke to keep the kids warm inside the covered wagon when they were on their way to school. That is, for me, really cool to think about because nowadays, pff, they would never let something like that happen. Ever. Safety issue is up the, you know, there's no way they'd let kids near any sort of, you know, heat source like that. And, you know, the fact that they rode on a covered wagon, you know, pulled by horses with, you know, skis through the wintertime to get to school. I, I can't imagine a life like that. I, I grew up with, you know, fancy cars and even the kids nowadays that have cell phones. I didn't have a cell phone until I was in high school because they didn't exist. You know, riding to school in a covered wagon would have been a totally different shock for life. But it was really cool that, you know, my grandpa was a good enough woodworker that he made a replica so that you can visualize, you know, what it was like. You can see when you have an image to put something to, it's easier to imagine what actually happened or what it was like. So when you see this and you hear the story from your grandfather of how it was, it gives you a different perspective on life. And, you know, it makes you appreciate what you have in the new age and it makes you have a lot more respect for the older generation. I miss my grandfather a lot, especially living in his old home. There's a lot of things around here like this that remind me of him, and I'm just glad I can share it with the rest of the world.